So here we are the, after the tra little training sessions with uh, Queen Esther in the kitchen. She's looking around investigating. But we're not jumping up on the counters. We're not getting underneath mom's feet. It's another thing you want to teach them. Not to stay underneath your feet. I know everybody loves their puppy and wants to be as close to their puppy as possible. But you don't want a puppy following you around underneath your feet inside the house. These little sessions of training are for living with your dog. Not necessarily teaching it how to do this or how to do that. It's just living with them. How to live around such a powerful, strong animal. If you allow it to stay close underneath your feet, when it becomes 80 pounds and you turn to the left, the next thing you know, you're on your back. So you teach your puppy to have manners. Look at those manners right there. And here it is after the training class. After one day, what do we got? What do we got, Mom? After one day. A dog has, has manners. It doesn't take much because they already know. Don't forget that, folks. They already know. They already know what we want from them. Yep. So this knowledge of knowing they already know should also lead you to the knowledge that if they're acting out, it's strictly because they want attention. Yep. Not because they're bad dogs. They shouldn't be yelled at, they shouldn't be whipped, they shouldn't be done nothing when they do bad. Yep. Except get get them going in the opposite direction, a positive action. See the way Minnie just went to go into the refrigerator and she had the eggs in her hand, she got all excited, so she stopped and made the puppy sit. So anytime the puppy jumps up on the counter or does anything like that, you have to make them sit immediately and then give them praise. That's a good girl. And I'm getting ready to go back after the wonderful breakfast of champions, steak and eggs my wife made for me. Y'all have a good morning. God bless. Bye. Say bye-bye, Minnie.